Hi everyone, my name is Margaret Manning and I am the co-founder of a group called 60 and Me, which is for women over 60. And uh, I'm here at the end of our MSC cruise on the Armonia, MSC Armonia. And I just wanted to tell the truth about MSC as I see it. Um, I travel um, as an individual. I don't have, I'm not a professional blogger or travel uh, cruise expert. But I, I go on cruises and I share with the 60 and Me community. A lot of the women in our community are not able to travel. So, you know, it's just like it's vicarious travel. And I love, and I do love cruising. However, I'm on a budget, like a lot of people. And if I'm going to cruise, I've got to keep the cost down. I just, I never would cruise if I couldn't, if I couldn't get it, you know, the, the rates down. I'm a solo traveler, so I'm traveling by myself. I'm not sharing a room. And that, of course, as all of you know, adds a cost to cruising. But MSC, I've cruised now three times with MSC and I will continue because I just think it's one of the best value for money cruise lines. Now, a lot of people are a little snobby about cruising. You know, when they cruise, I think they expect some kind of, uh, you know, experience that's, that's not real sometimes. And so they, you know, they criticize the food or the staff and MSC is like, you know, historically voted as like the worst cruise line in the world. You know, it's like the worst food, the worst staff, the worst, ships but i don't think so at all now the armonia is an old ship it's actually quite an old um cruise ship and but it's been kept really nice it's very basic and what do you need on a cruise except really great oh got lots of light here this morning um you know except really great destinations and then anywhere is a great destination for me um and you know a safe ship that has edible food and you know nice um environment places that you can go and hide away now on this ship for example when i get on board any 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 ship but msc particularly i always try to find the places that are the quiet spots and on this ship it's the 12th deck there's a lounge up there that is hardly ever used and i'm trying to get out of this uh, somewhat it's a beautiful morning here i'm just pulling into venice and i try to find the place i can go uh, in the in the uh, restaurant or the buffet and I hardly ever eat at the in the dining room but I go to find the buffet and find a, a place I can go and sit or eat outside if I can or just hide away and I've always managed to do that and I and on any cruise ship I've never, I'm actually in the area right now where there's a swimming pool no people are around it's quite early in the morning but um, so that's the one thing I think is that people could talk about the food and about the crowds and there's a lot of people on board here it's really true it's a, it's a very um uh, it's a large ship 2500 people plus but it's got a kind of um a, a, you know a sense of that you can actually find places that are that are quiet and relaxing and um for me you know make the trip but what really is important to me is the actual destinations yesterday it was really funny we were in kotor montenegro and we pulled in next side to, uh, alongside the Viking Star. Now I have been on a, a Viking sponsored cruise for 60 and Me, and uh, I love Viking. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, all all um, balcony suite or balcony cabins, and you know, just incredible. I mean, smaller groups and whatever. But we were, there we were together, side by side in Kotor, and we were seeing the same mountains, the same beautiful uh, place, and it was you know at the at a reduced cost that I could afford. Now I paid about eight hundred dollars for this cruise, four, di five, four days, four nights, five days, and um, pretty much all included. And I think I bought some coffees, and you know, I bet I could fill my thermos up with, with coffee free of charge, and you know, just made it affordable. I was conscious of the expense. One thing people talk about are the the crowds around um, excursions. Yes, there were a lot of people yesterday waiting in lines for many minutes, but it wasn't like the end of the world. It was really okay you just have to change your mindset i think when you're cruising on a on a budget line like this and be prepared for waiting be prepared for a little discomfort yes the embarkation process took a little longer i don't know i just the truth for me with msc is it's a great line i love it i mean i really will I continue to i'm going next year on the europa which is one of their new um ships and if you book in advance you can get really good prices so if you're hesitating and thinking about MSC, this is just my view. I mean, I'm sure that everyone who had an experience they wrote about that was negative, um, you know, is their, is their experience. But for me, it was, you know, it's been a really lovely cruise and I'm appreciative of all the kind people that I've, you know, worked with and helped um, along the, the, the way. It's really been worthwhile and the cost 
for this trip was, was amazing. So heading back to, to my home now, planning the next trip. And it'll probably be MSC because that's what I can afford. And that is what I enjoy. But the truth for me is it's a great line. You know, just go for it. It's just change your mindset around what you expect. Enjoy the places that you go to, the destinations. Make the most of it. Oh, and that's another thing. You don't have to pay for excursions. You can actually go and hop on buses in just about any town, city in the world these days. So I did that on one of the one of these stops, and it was fantastic. Anyway, if you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comments section. If you're a woman over 60, come join 60 and Me, and uh, we're all women, you know, trying to make the most of this amazing time in our lives, and we'd welcome you there. Take really good care.